good evening. Yes, it is quarter after seven in the central daylight time zone. Sorry, we're late, but we were trying to do a whole bunch of logistical things all at the same time. And sometimes that delays us for Wednesday night warfare at the armchair dragoons, but we wouldn't miss it because this is the biggest so far. This is the biggest so far battle um, that we have had for our Sharnhorst 1809 campaign. And it is the Battle of Bakel. This is the this is Bakel. Where did, where did I put Bakel? Shoot. There it is. It's over here. We have the village of Bakel right there. So it's the nearest thing we had to the setup. But oh my gosh, do we have a lot of troops. Representing the representing the forces of France are the Emperor himself, Dalinor. Good evening. Good evening, people of France. And we have you have his worthy minion, Jeff War One Two Two One. How are you, my friend? I am a worthy minion. There you go. Coming in, <laughs> subbing worthy. in, because unfortunately our guy Red Sax has taken a bit poorly. We hope we wish him very, very well. We have stepping in for the allies, for all the allies, Velker, to give them the fight of their lives. How are you feeling, Velker? Like a suicide squad. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that level of optimism is what the French wanted to hear. Um, so let's have a let's have a look here. First thing I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna send out a tweet and say that the game is on. I'm gonna close my I don't know why I have Facebook open. Facebook doesn't help me. I need YouTube and I need Twitter. Maybe you could paste but, but just post on facebook huh? post on facebook you think is that what i should do no i should definitely play i should post on twitter because that's a boat that's true <laughs> there we are and now we have an what's this announcement why am i getting an announcement oh yeah there is a, a number of people who have commented if you were around just yesterday wait a minute here i don't want to interrupt myself forgive me everyone talk amongst yourselves i'm going to be posting Yak, 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 yak. There you go. There you go. Jim, which... Uh, Jim, sorry. Jeff. <laughs> yeah. Do you want the fourth or do you want the... Or the seventh? Or do you want the uh, third? He definitely wants lucky number seven. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, I'll take the seven. All right, they got these two cavalry over here, too. There's three of them over there. Well, that's a scout, I think. Yeah, Correct. Oh, that is. Yep. Okay. Because remember... These battlefields in Scharnhorst are divided into sectors, and you're in your own sector. That's why these guys are separated from each other. I mean, you guys have a lot of bad guys. They do. You're, um, now, the people who called the battle, they're the ones that have to set up first. This was a French battle, so it's our French friends that have to set up. And let's go over what the French have, because it is not insubstantial. I hate double negatives, but there it is. There we are. You see this over here? We have Colbert's scouts from the two corps. They've come in to just peek around. But right next to them in the sector, right next to them, what do we see? The seventh corps. Seven. Those guys, mm -hmm. Those guys actually over here. Good guys. The sure. seventh corps. Yes. But in that. that same section, in that same insane section, we have the third corps. So these are Lefebvre's Bavarians. These are Davout's. Those are Davout's mighty third corps, sung of in song and story. Over here, we have some Austrians. Hooray! Now you would say, not particularly impressive, but these are some of the best troops in the Austrian army. This is the res second reserve corps. So here you see some of these, the uh, Grenadiers, Daspa, and you see some fine other troops, as well as divisional artillery. Who is the original horse commander for the Allies? Who is this? Who is the original commander for the Allies? This is Georgia. Georgia, Georgia has put you in this post. George, he's apologizing in advance to Georgia. For, for butchering your best guys. And then there's these cavalry. And then he's got all these fellas over here. So he's got a big lot. But you think that that's enough? You think that that's enough troops where you would be wrong? Because here at the Battle of Bakel, we've also got these two French columns that are going to try to get on as reserves, as reinforcements, and 
We've got these Austrians that want to come on as reinforcements. Hooray. So it's, uh, there's a lot of fellows coming out. So let's remember your obligations, please. You'll notice we have these markers. These are VP locs. Yes, it is true. I have put a French VP loc behind a, an Austrian scouting party. Nothing much I could do about it. It's going to flip early on, but I have a funny hunch the Austrians are going to struggle to hold on to it. Six VP locs. It is the VP locs that determine victory in the battle in the 1809 rule system as provided to us very graciously by the folks at Little Wars. So, my dear French friends, will you please set up your troops? You must stay six inches away from any sector that contains the enemy. So... Again, this is a four by six table. All right, how far how far up can we shut? Well, let's draw the halfway point first. Okay. And that is twenty four inches. So you most will have to be from this from your board edge twenty four minus six. 18 inches off this base edge okay now obviously you can be as close as you want over here because that's your sector and that's your sector but over here you can't be any you know you can't you've got to back up a little bit and shove yourself you're gonna to have to pack yourself in there real good is my point and you've got to stay in your section how where how far over can i go it, i yeah we probably um, should, just... should we should we throw down some markers just to help you out that's yeah, that would, that would be very helpful. That seemed like the logical thing to do. Well, you know what we use in this area? We use candles. We like candles. So what I'll do... What Especially, I'll do, they're, ba they're basically periodic-type candles, too. They yeah, they're, they give the right ambiance. A certain je ne sais quoi. Oh, that helps. Huh? Oh, that, uh, oh, holy cow, we are jammed in here. I didn't lie to you. Yeah, we are. Was not me that did this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Ron. It's Ron's fault. I, I'm, I'm gonna blame him. Okay. Well, your guys can all friggin' near this pretty good, and then try to up here pretty good. You know what I mean? Yeah, I yeah. I, I'm gonna be in. I'm it's gonna me the that's gonna be pretty head. jammed here, but. Yeah, I'm going to take that front edge here. I'm just moving these out of the way, Jim. They're not being set there. No problem. All of a sudden, it got dark on me. Have our Who is it? Ian Jackson. Ian Jackson. Congratulations. Oops, sorry about that. I had to run real quick. My phone was also just blowing up. take these candles it, down as we're done setting up just because, just because they do kill the frame rate a little bit. They are cruel little buggers. Well, because they flicker. Alright. Those guys are going to be have to be independent the whole time. Yeah.
No, I know. It's work it late has been the bane of my gaming existence. I liked your uh, Greek on Sunday. Oh, cool. Did you study Greek in school? Divinity school, yeah. Yeah, three years of Greek. <laughs> yeah, I have four years of Latin. Uh, no, actually, five years of Latin, three, year, four, three, some, three years of Greek, plus a short semester. Dave Pump House, good to see you, my friend. Yeah, actually, we were delayed this time by the fact that for some reason I didn't, I thought I had this all set up exactly as I wanted, and then uh, there were missing parts and pieces. Oh, no. Not the parts and pieces. Yeah, the parts and pieces. It's the worst the thing. most important things. I love it when an entire brigade wheels hard left to face a, to face another direction. That's delightful. You know, I was telling the uh, our players today that we had an absolute blast last night playing Chain of Command, and are really looking forward to it. We're actually getting a. Uh, a number of gr the uh, the group is getting a lot of great feedback. We're the chain of command has a huge following, just huge. I, I won't say it's as big as Bolt Action, which is I, I would I, I think still holds the field, I guess, um, at the skirmish level. But chain of command is certainly a, a tight second if it isn't the first. And just so many people are pleased to see it being played digitally. But also, people are saying, okay, I want to see what's left of these two guys now that they shot each other to ribbons. I, I, it's, it's not a bad set of rules. I like my Iron Cross better, but um, it, is a, it is an enjoyable set of rules. Yeah. Of course, I like the fat lardy guys' rules anyhow. So. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, it, 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 obviously, it is not my period by any stretch of the imagination i like it i've always gamed in it but it is you know this is where you guys are moving your toys right now this is my home but um i for some reason and it's so interesting because i tried those of you who uh have poked around in the old meldrum site know that ross has built a beautiful amazing tts setup for rommel I, I realized that, you know, it's sort of those things that you accept. You, I, I, I'm glad I'm finding these things out before I die, that I've come to peace with things before I pass. Um, one of them is I can't stand solo war games. I just can't stand them. Uh, number two, I don't like World War II games where one tank isn't one tank. Me too. Me too. I don't, I, and I don't. It's weird. It's just a weird bias. I don't like it. This represents five tanks. Well, no, I want five tanks. Give me my <laughs> toys. Which, and as we all know, every one of these bases is representational. So I don't know what my hangup is, but there it is. I, I do have to say that once I saw the Russians had those defensive, I'm like, just call in the 81 millimeter mortars. There's, there's probably two batteries back there. Just call them in and just hammer those defensive positions but apparently he didn't have those resources he th those were not present and available yeah i gave you a little bit more space there ron i see that that's actually helpful velker how you feeling how you feeling about the steamroller over there uh, no <laughs> Well, the problem is the steamroller has to come get you. 
Um, sure, but if it that's the problem with tanks. <laughs> it is the same problem with tanks. It's not wrong. You're welcome. All right. I, we're, uh, do, 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 hold on. And yes, okay, it is uh, a me, great me, credit to the doughty British. I love you guys to death. They're online with us hanging out, and it's 1.30 in the flippin' morning. Wow. Nice. That's not All right, I think we're good. Uh, uh, don't you? You got your command figure over here. We got yeah. Devu has to be somewhere, <laughs> unless you don't. Unless you want to hold him off, and then you can slap him down later. But his notice he has the ability. He is vigorous. Yep. What does that mean? He has the uh, amount of when he gives the command to a unit to which he is attached, or when he's ordering it. It halves the uh, point value. Oh, wow. Which means we're going to use it for the third on the first turn. Al although, remember, you, <laughs> no, also yeah. have, you also have Napoleon's thing. What? Do they still get Napoleon's thing? Yes. <sighs> where Where is Napoleon? He gets to be anywhere he wants, just like Charles does, but Charles doesn't have a thing. Oh, have a thing. I do have a question. Yeah. yeah. Where are our Mo uh, markers? Rollers, markers. Counter. Oh, counters. What are you talking about? Oh, you, oh, you, oh, you got them down there. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, oh, the, you get the them both. dice right there. No, yeah. Let me, uh, let me scooch them over there. I, we got, we got to do the, we got to do the count. We do have Heidi boxes. Oh, the count. Yeah, you got Heidi boxes. Yeah. Oh yeah, them. we have a Heidi. No, I didn't mean the mo dice. I meant the counter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The morale. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Velker, you're at the bat. It's where the uh, it's where you see these the once again much like in commands and colors it represents so six inches back from the river essentially uh, you can be you know you can this is obviously yours so you can be as close as you want left to right and he can be as close as you want it's left to right the Napoleon thing is uh, it call you. Whatever you give a command to, it has to be the first thing, and it's uh, as many troops, and it's only two points. Affirmative. Okay. I remember that. <sighs> I think I'm going to have to buy these dumb rolls. Message, Jeff. Oh, Okay. I'm sad. Usually you say that to me, Dalinor. What the heck? <laughs> I know, Velker. I'm betrayed. Replaced so easily. No, it was, it, you're not replaced easily. Trust me. But you are replaced. Uh, I'm, I, I'm a reluctant French commander. <laughs> Think of me as an Irish <laughs> commander. Yeah, you're the wild geese over there. Yeah, there we go. So yeah. you'd be like the Irish for the English. Mm. Yeah, yes, I, I, I hate the British so much, I'm, I've am i uh, allied myself with the French. I really should just accept that I want to build the group, that I, the skirmisher should be built like the regular form troops with all their nice lines and stuff like that. But I still I still like my, my Grenzers to be in these weird lumpy battalions. But they look cool. They do. Oh, that's good. It actually it yeah, forms a nice mix brigade. Yeah. And then this one over here is is pure. Them them some Grenzers right there. And it's so interesting. Every rules deals with Grenzers differently. Yep. Well, it all oh. comes down to, I'm not sure. Every single set of rules deals with skirmishers in the Napoleonic period in some way. Some by not dealing with it at all. Uh, yeah. You know, um, obviously LaSalle 2 has taken a pretty radical approach that some people think is okay and some people, you know. Sure. I think that skirmish rule is kind of cool, but I can see it getting in the way of uh, people adopting that as a regular set of rules. Well, my big thing is if you're playing that sucker on a tabletop, you best have a system for managing it. Yeah. Because on, uh, on TTS, uh, it's no problem at all. Yeah. But I'm sorry. For, as a miniatures game, that is going to be a barrier. That um, is a mixed people are not going to want to. Okay, it counts as a. I just saw yeah. the horse, and then I yeah. saw you 
Yeah, it is. It's going to be a bear. If people are going to be confused by it, is that's the only way to put it. But I have I've gone through the rules now like four times, and there are some really cool stuff in there. Yeah. Um, so I I assume you're up for the. Uh, I know I know Ron is. We're going to have a, a Waterloo refight for the anniversary this year. We're going to be doing. I'm stealing the Shaco scenario for La Heist, the attack on La Sant. So we've got a pretty big La Salle scenario set for that. Okay, yeah. Um, I'll oh, have to look at I'm the ready gate. for that one. I, I may have a grandchild coming in, so. Uh oh, Ooh. grandchild. You got grandkids coming in all the time, my friend. Oh, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> yes as soon as the grandchild comes in, you, very, you, you don't know that. You only know the grandchild for one or two days. You know us longer, so you play with us. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I love you guys. I, I have gotten to know you and really enjoy. I enjoy. This is just such a fun group. But you're not family. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, but it's, oh, no, no. But you see, only see, known them see, for a see, short time. Yeah, right. How do you argue against yeah, Ron's how, point? How, how, how you barely no, know this. No, no Caroline is Caroline is going. I I choose Caroline over you guys every time. Matter of fact. I'm not certain I can game Saturday night. Now I'm hoping to, Ooh. but my my two granddaughters are going to be here. Well, they and are very, they I, are very sweet. Oh, that's important. Well, well, but stuck. by the time by the time we start gaming, they generally are upstairs with Gigi taking baths and getting ready to go to bed. Yes. And Paul Paulson, it's kind see of, now that I understand because you've known them longer than yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that I can understand. What, the child? But the, this mere the infant? Newborn? This mere newborn? So, uh, Velker, we need to count up your stands. How many you got? One, two, three, four, five. Artillery doesn't count. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I see fourteen. Yeah, I, I, I counted that guy earlier. Yeah, okay. fourteen. And then up here, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, go ahead and place them. So that's 16. We divide 16 by 3, and we discern that that is 5. A morale of 5. Yay. Is that good? Please tell me that. Well, let's... Yeah, please Jeff, say that. you know you had a sump guy right here, right? You have... Huh? You're just oh, I missed that. Did you do oh, your okay. count, Ron, or shall we count? 26, I believe. 26. So that is a 5. That is a th that's an 8. An 8. Eight to five is our morale. It will also be remembered that the French are attacking, so they will get the first turn of our turns. But the, the question we always must ask, what turn is it? Because in this campaign, we don't necessarily start at daybreak, so I am obligated to take this D12 and place it on Ron's roller and ask Ron to roll that die. So are we going to be playing on the 18th, which is a Friday night? No. We play really? 10? It is. Wow. Mercy sakes alive. That is late in the day. That actually, oh, that, actually that could that hurts. be a huge mercy for the French. Or for the uh, for the Austrians, yeah, for the Austrians. Yes. that that could prove to be a huge mercy. Well, that would have been the first turn for the French there on the even on the odd turns, so it's turn ten. That means it's actually an Austrian turn. What? I know, insane, right? You modice. Yeah. So let's uh, and it is three modice. So if I can ask the French to please provide some modice to the Austrians. Think printing is on. Yep, just turn printing off. Ah, dang it! Hit it again. That was a average roll right Two. there. You're up, Velker. Hit it. All right. Velker, hit it. All right. Uh, well, how do I flip counters for myself? Give me one quick second. I'm sorry. What question are you asking? How oh, do I flip this counter? that one there. You already that have. Jeff, you... Oh, okay. you see my second message? Uh, no, not yet. Uh, I'm right. winning. You are winning. One at, sec. This, at, this, at this moment, you are winning. I'm winning. All of you guys have to just get good. I captured a point on turn one. <laughs> Without <laughs> even trying, he captures a point. Get good. Okay. So. How far is 
far as movement, I, I have too many rules set in my head. You, why, why do you hurt me this way? Uh, for infantry or cavalry? Cavalry. 12 and 6. Oh, and I got the blue grip of candy. How far is 12 inches? But, okay, so I will... You can tell Velker's commanding and not OJ. His first thought is, how do I drive these horses directly into those French guys? <laughs> you know? <laughs> o OJ is a little more cautious than that, yes. Yeah. It is well, six, that means reinforcements could be coming on soon. Yep, too. six inches is long range, okay. and which we which we call skirmish range, and three inch is volley range. How is three inches? So, and they can't no shoot you. Shooting, right? There is no moving and shooting. Yes, I know things. And then, oh, cavalry! Oh dear! Oh, they're shot. Yeah, this is this third core is no joke. Oh dear, the steamroller's coming for me. <laughs> oh no. Oh dear. I will survive. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> they're gonna throw a lot of dice at that cavalry. <laughs> Excellent. Okie dokie, there's there's two. You can continue. Yay. Those guys are going to stay there. Alright. Now attack one. You have one hidden in the trees, eh? You thought you could hide yes. from me? You cannot hide from me. Yeah. See? At least, Jeff, you won't be bored. Oh, <laughs> you, I Ain't enough for sure. Yeah, I, I just, I'm waiting for his die rolls. That's what... <laughs> scares the yeah, right. daylight out of me. Oh, jeez. I have been crushed by his you die rolls. Are you uh, activating the artillery in the middle? Because remember, you got to be connected. Yes, I... Yeah, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. How far do artillery move? Six. Dang it. Not far enough. Oh, this is all one. Yeah. This is yeah, sure. How are the die rolls do? It's like learning a brand new game. It's the same as always. You're rolling five dice for six. Oh, then I'll keep these two guys here. That guy won't be able to shoot. Long range is uh. Long range is eighteen. Twenty-four. Right? 18, Twenty oh, it's twenty-four. 24. Never mind. Twenty-four. Never mind. Yeah, I guess it has been a little bit. Ah, uh, I'm not. John old. Stanley. Yeah. Good to see you, my friend. It's eight uh, base widths. So twenty-four. So yeah, this they, those guys can both shoot, and in fact, these are heavy guns. Nice. And these guys are still there. All right, there's my turn. All right. Well, that's not quite your turn because now you get the opportunity to see if those reinforcements come on. Yeah. Because it's the tenth turn, you actually have a fairly decent yeah. shot. I thought that was the. Hold on, hold on. That's at the end of the turn. He's at the end of his turn. Oh, he's, at the end. Yeah, he's, oh he's not firing? He, oh, that's true. Oh, he they wants move. To shoot first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wants to shoot. That's right. Bad move on my part. Bad habits. So, uh, fire the guns, Falker. Fire the guns of five dice. Which way do you want? You got to tell me who you're shooting at and who's shooting where and all that uh, stuff. This guy is shooting here. At Kronpin. At Kron, the Kron Prince. These, by the way, check these guys out. These are... I, for those who have not heard me say it, our dear Giorgio, who is not with us tonight, I hope he's good, I hope he's okay, and just, just asleep and he forgot about us. Uh, Giorgio has basically done all the Austrians for 1809. So these are the Kron, the Kron Prince Chevaux Leger. So that's... Oh, yeah. that's uh, Five dice for sixes? Wait one minute. Sixes? Five Why are these guys here? That's correct. Yeah, that's right, because they're Bavarians. That's right. That's why. Um, so, yes, five for sixes, correct. Oh, no. Nothing. If only they were for fives and sixes. I yeah. know. The other one, same target? Uh, yes. 
five for sixes. Uh, uh to, 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 to heavy with a so you get a bonus because it's heavy. Yeah, I got one. All right. Take that, Chrome Queens. Awesome. Other than that, I think I'm good. All right. Uh, wait. Uh, With all your shooting, he moved. Are, let me, I want to see. I doubt it. No. Okay. Let uh, me search HS quickly. Probably. Sure. I doubt it. This was my gold crest. Well, let's see. You've got two fellows that want to come on. Oh, well, one fellow. Sorry. No, That's one. these guys down here. I'm just trying to do it. Austrian column two. They would like to come on. Let's see if they're allowed to. Uh, it is turn 10. You're going to multiply this die roll times four because they're coming on to a sector you control. Otherwise, it's times five. Okay. So you need to roll a two or a one to get them to join you. Yay! Oh, All he right. gets it. Well, I got to save does. the game because I got to go over. We're going to go together. It's quite all right. Saving it. One moment. It is saved. Let's go get those Bacal reinforcements. Whoa. Much smaller table, don't you think? Yeah. He gets Ooh, all. Oh, this is a good amount of guys. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, we're going to have to take a look and see how readily you can fit them on the table. Remember the rules. You've got to uh, be able to march them onto the table from that side, and they've got to be able to move that six inches. If you look at the reinforcements, it's within six inches. What's that? Yeah, the max they could go is six inches. Right, right, right. No, not there. Oh wait, sorry. Remember, they I'm come mar up. they kind of come marching on, right? So set them up along. Let me get rid of this marker. They are supposed to be in here, in this zone defined by the river. So I'm just here, okay. Yeah. So show me how they're marching on, and you've got all these guys. All right. Okay. Over here, though. It is, yeah, I was going to say so this side, right? That's what I was doing. Down yeah. Why do you Oh, no, you have to right over here but in the river. Gotta, so I was like, no. What you've got to do is you got to measure from here. Okay. So. There you go. Yeah, it, it is harder getting troops on than you would think. It is, for sure. Yes. It's yeah, I don't think we're getting our reinforcements anytime soon there, Jeff. Well, where do they come on? Yeah. They come on on this edge. Ooh. Yep. Yeah. Come on yep. where you see them. Well, I'll give this to Valkyrie. Got them all on the table. No, not yet. Nice. And now that increases his uh, mo, doesn't it? His, it does. Uh, his, morale. his morale, exactly. Makes sense. Well, suddenly you see all these guys coming on. You, and they're fresh. Right. So now it is one, two. Now, but again, the guns don't count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18. Unfortunately, oh, sorry, 19, 20. 20. That takes you to six, a bump in morale of one point. Hooray. Good news for you. Yay. Aha, uh -huh, now I'm even more confident that I'll definitely beat you. All right, they've arrived. Uh, why don't you then, we're going to move the turn ahead. It's now the 11th turn. It's roll their, roll. and now you're gonna roll their mo dice. Three dice, right? Yes, sir. Maybe not. A 
away you gentlemen go. Don't forget Napoleon's thing. Don't forget Napoleon's thing. Right. Napoleon's thing is going to go with the seventh. Okay. So go ahead, Jeff. Move. Oh, I can. Okay. I can use the seventh. Okay. Yeah. Um. All right. Yeah, you got Nappy's thing. <laughs> <laughs> Definite lack of MG34s here. Yeah. Hey, Red. Good to see you. Hope you're good. We've actually made two attempts to start the Battle of Shiloh using Ultra Freedom and never finished it. I do want to. Wouldn't it. be a bad choice. I do. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, okay. That's what I was thinking. But I'm a five to hit six, but he has to re-roll. Correct. We also can use Calvert's against the other front one. Uh, I'm going to try. I'll see how we how it does. Uh oh. I'm assuming you've measured this. Yes. Yeah. It, it was ten point five. Got it. <sighs> I'm gonna take your privileges away. I, it's it's your fault. I blame you. I know you do. Wait a minute. Oh, uh, what happened? Uh, <laughs> I hit. I hit no, no yeah. victory flips yet. Uh, and I got to measure this one. I yeah, don't... you got to you got to kind of angle them though this way. You got to do it. Okay. You've, you've got your uh, measure. You've got your measuring tool set at the wrong spot, Jeff. Go to your measure tool, and if you grab okay. it, you're going to notice you can. You, it can. You the third button over is ruler mode. Make sure it's set to free. Okay. It's set to inches. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's uh there are three circles that pop up. It's inches, two D, and then the third one is ruler mode. Okay, free. There we go. Yeah, that's okay. What you, that's what you want. All right. Yeah, it's twelve point something. Yeah, we're yeah. I, I can't get him in the first shot, but uh, no. Nope. I think. Well, hang I on, don't know if you want to leave your. I don't think you want to leave your flank though to these cannons right no, there. No, I'm so. I'm eleven five. No. That's that no. corner, but yeah. you're gonna have to. Like oh I said, yeah, no, shift a little four, bit. Yeah. Right. Yep, exactly. Yep, yep. So you're just a little yep, too far. Okay. So you might want to keep them there. Or. Yeah, this one's actually, fine. This one's fine. Put him back. It is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, shift him back. At him. Him stay. No, him stay. Okay, him stay. okay. Him stay. Him stay. Him stay. Okay. Yeah, put him back originally where he was at. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to make it. Use this calf. Should be able to shift it and hit him. Well, I was thinking about blocking. This guy can gr go grab my uh, gr grab our. Uh, All right, yeah. Well, actually, you probably could, it's a forty-five degree. I mean. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Is turn him forty-five yeah. and hit him. Yeah. That's gonna be a little snug. You'll have to take a look at that. Well, yeah, that's why I was telling like shift forty-five, and we'll look take a look at it. One. That's two. Three. Yeah, yeah, that's actually three. two. That's yeah, a forty-five. Yeah, that's, that's a forty-five. Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. And and by and it's it's actually better for you than that because you moved forward, so it's you you're back a bit. But that's fine. Go ahead. It's just gonna make I'm... you hit him. Just not gonna be a flank. No, we weren't expecting a flank. No, yeah. No, I... Go ahead. Yeah, at that range, I didn't. I wasn't expecting yeah. flank. I was just gonna hit him like you hit like corner. more like right here. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Right. If you want to shift him over some this other cavalry over to an, something, you know, as a backup or whatever, that's up to you. Well, I was thinking of, of putting him here. That way, I can either if I can either take on these guys up here, or I can turn and hit these guys if I have to next turn. Um, yeah, the big either thing or. is, I want to clear. I want to cl have a clear um, angle for my guns. So. Yep. Doing that. 
You can't oblique, though. Oh, I have to go straight? Yeah. Yeah, this isn't Bali and Bayonet. Six inches. Oh, six, yeah, sorry. <laughs> so uh, I'm used to, I'm, yeah, the last I'm, week. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to f focus on like three different things. and. Yeah, wait till we play Palamos. You're going to go nuts. That's the one system so, you don't like, isn't it? That's right. Like I say, I, I just have this, I, 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 it's almost like I want to think I'm being horribly unfair to it. Um, so when are we going to um, do the um, Waterloo? The uh, 19th. What's the date? The 19th. I mm -hmm. think that's a Saturday, right? Yeah, the 19th. Mm -hmm. Waterloo, Waterloo. As if I don't get enough of that when people ask me what I like. I like that song. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like that song. Well, my wife got Chris. My wife watches that move, those movies all the time. Um, Mamma Mia. Sure. And it's all the ABBA songs. Yeah, but you know, to have a chunk of that, you got to remember, ABBA was, ABBA was top forty for me. So. I grew up with ABBA because my parents. No, there you go. Oh, now you're hurting. Now, now you're hitting with your words again. <laughs> well, remember, you're not that much older than I am. That's true. Is that true? You're only, what, seven years older. Yeah. You're in your 40s, Eleanor. I'm actually almost 50. I, last Saturday was 48. God bless you. Wow. Now my wife, now my wife, on the other hand, at the end of this month, she turns the big 5-0. Oh, the big 5 not Big party? Big plans? No. We played over for his 50. Yeah, my 50th. I, yeah, my 50th. I tried to set up, like, one time, like, for her 40th, I did a surprise birthday party, and I almost got, she hates surprises, and almost got killed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, took literally, my wife like, to no to hell. I got reamed up and down at her birthday party for it. <laughs> for her 50th, and now for her 60th, um, I'm taking Debbie to uh, um, Disney. Land or world? Uh, Disney World. Cool. Um, yeah, I would like to go back down. We went down to Disney World when I came back from my second tour in Iraq. <laughs> You're you are such a jerk. You know that? You are such a jerk. My dad my, what's it? My hates Disney my, my, my son My son knows my deep hatred of Disney. Well, I'm not a fan, but my wife and my children are. I, so. Look, my, my sister-in-law, who I love, and, and I, I got a ton of friends. I just, I can't, I, I, the list of things I would do first is so long. It almost beggars the imagination. No, 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 no. you're not going to get an argument Jeff. Me. I, Jeff, I, 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 I know you want these guys to be faster. I understand. But they are Bavarians, uh, which means they're probably drunk. If I had my option, there are, you know, a dozen things before going to Disney and spending ungodly amount of money. I couldn't believe um, this. Did you see this story about this guy that got kicked out of Disney World because he refused to take a temp test? And <laughs> he complained that he had spent $15,000 for a one-week vacation. Really? Really? <laughs> I went, okay, I get it. He probably wasn't on the standard family plan or, did, you know, all that stuff. If you told me that I had 15 grand for a vacation, I, I'm gone to Europe for six weeks. Yeah. I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to Disney World. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I, I can't, I, I'm, I'm going to be in Paris blind drunk under the Eiffel Tower dancing a nymph dance. 
You know, I, yeah. I, come on now. Yes. You will, you will not believe how much I spent for five of us, my, my three kids and my wife and myself, for one week, seven days, six nights, five tickets for all the parks for five days. Guess how much I spent? I don't know. Two hundred dollars a person minimum. Uh, actually, I spent six hundred and seventy-five dollars. Wow. Hmm. That, we we have just we, have, we got discovered now, Airbnb. I came back, I came back from uh, and I was on a Disney World resort. That's we came right. back from I came back I came back from um, Iraq and they gave us discounted tickets, uh, discounted uh, prices for Disney World, and they have a military resort, Shades of Green. Oh, is that uh, right? Well, that's classy. I respect that. Yes. Respect. Yeah, it's all military for retired and active military. It's called Shades of Green. Very uh, nice. Couple and, of uh, observations. Uh, John, yes, there is an SPI Shiloh game. I haven't uh, played okay, it. Okay, I'm no, done. We, we so that. all of James, that costs two points. James, An- <laughs> J- James Anderson. James Anderson. No, you do not tell the wife's age. <laughs> oh, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, my wife doesn't care. She will. She may. No, she will, but she won't watch the video. <laughs> All right, so seven core is My wife doesn't care. So, uh, Ron, that's right. two, that's two, that's points, two off points off away yours. You go. Away you go. You're gonna, you go. I assume you this is going to be Davu being vigorous. Yes, Davu being very vigorous. You there, you there. Ah. Is there such thing as too many troops? <laughs> Viking River Cruise. It's it's so funny. I mean, this is one of those things that we regularly talk about in my household. When we were in Regensburg, Napoleonic touring, Regensburg is huge. And I'm going to be horribly discriminatory, but that's okay. Old people love Regensburg. I, it's like a retirement community, except it all speaks German. <laughs> and And they're very nice people, but they get off these luxury boats, walk about half a mile, take the really tight, you know, there's a bunch of stuff in Regensburg that's right off the Danube that's really easy to reach. And then they just get back on the boat and leave. (laughs) It's like, you're in Regensburg. Okay, and I admit, not everybody has my obsessions. But I was like, you do realize the battlefield of Teugenhausen is right there. You do realize the battlefield at Eggbull is right there. Why don't you go there? Or if you want to do some other things, the 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 uh, the castle of Thurn and Taxis is right there. My my pregnant daughter wants to do Italy, and I want to do Italy too. And so, okay. when when uh, Caroline gets old enough, we're going to uh, go. And I, I want to do Florence, and I um, I I really really want to do. Um, the Vatican, and I'd love to be able to get access to the Vatican Library. Um, but uh, everything else, I don't care. <laughs> we can see some battlefields, I'd be happy. Well, there's that Marengo thing up north. Yeah. Well, I do have to say, on our... Uh, uh, you can't turn at the end, down. I thought you could. No, not if you're going no, six. Not if you're going six. Yeah. Beginning, you have to go three. Be, beginning only. Oh straight. yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Um, on our honeymoon, um, we uh, we're going to go uh, to Lancaster, Pennsylvania, because we had some friends. I did my internship there, mm-hmm. um, and I suggested that we stop at uh, did Gettysburg. These guys, did these guys move six to her? No, they moved three. Got it. Thank you. All right. And uh, subtly suggesting going to Gettysburg. Got it. <laughs> well, and she didn't know. And uh, and she hates history. OK, but we spent one whole day in Gettysburg. And she she actually when we got in the car, she's like, I wish we could spend more time here. If I had come here uh, at, in high school, I would have liked history. Hmm. Um, and she, we've gone back multiple times now. That's nice. Yeah, I still have not been to Gettysburg. I want to. My wife wants to go to Gettysburg just because she watches all those ghost shows, sure. and she wants to go yeah. to one hotel that's sure. a haunted ghost of yep. Gettysburg. Yep. We we took the haunted tour. The you know the Which is best. Just fine with me. I'll go to, if that takes her to go to a battlefield. I'll do it. <laughs> in. 
The, uh, quite frankly, the best battlefield I've ever been to is Yorktown. Yorktown is awesome. Agreed. I mean, it's not Austerlitz or anything, but it's good. No, no. But for a continental one. Yeah, yeah. Or for the best battlefield you know I've gone to was, uh, uh, freaking A. It was D-Day, but I forgot what beach it was. Those are pretty. That was over. Those are, those are sobering. Yeah, especially when you go to the, the, the big the site. The, um, Point to Hawk. No, I, I, I'm always torn on this. I will always love Waterloo, but I still say the best Napoleonic battlefield is probably Acme that I've been to. Why? It's, it's, it's pristine. It's not, you can see the battlefield from all the descriptions and it's nicely curated, but it's not overly curated. Waterloo okay. is is a little silly in some ways, although I will always love it. Austerlitz is great. Austerlitz is great, but I just liked Egmul that little bit better. You could you could stand at various points at Egmul and watch the battlefield happen. Watch the battle happen. You just it's so mm. it's, it's so easy to see. One of these days I'll get my wife to get her passport. What's that? Battles. Hmm? What was that, Jeff? Have you done any of the peninsula? peninsula no, battles? I've I've talked to Charles Esdale, the one of the leading historians of the Spanish War, and he's giving me my list because that's well, that's why Edward is learning Spanish. Yes, yes, I'm definitely learning. That Spanish. is why that is why Velker is the official team translator. Oh, I'm going to do so well. Because. <laughs> I speak German and French. My wife speaks French, but we don't have Spanish on team. So I can read French and German, but I can't speak it. Well, I feel so uneducated. I don't speak any of it. Well, I, when I was preparing I for my PhD. I do speak a little Arabic, though. That's you. That's oh, yeah, because you, you, you had better learn a little. I had to. We had to take a language class. Yeah. Right. We're done. That's all my movement. Is that it? That's everybody? Yep. That's everybody. All right. Cannon fire, please. please. If you got right any, here. If you got, what you got? Big right. QQ. Where are you going? On Merveld. Against Merveld. All right. We got uh, five no bonus. Wait, you're firing in horses, so it's halved. Ooh. No, that's only for that's only for infantry. Thank you. Continue. Yep. Volley fire is it? Oh! Oh! Ooh, nasty. We'll take that. Hey there, stop. Opening fire, there we go. Uh, He's picking up where he left off on... Uh, remember when I was you're picking up where he left off on your birthday. Holy cow. Remember when I know. Yeah, he said he rolled three sixes again he on did. Saturday night. Call him triple six, baby. Remember when I was talking about this being a suicide squad? <laughs> the uh, Okay, so we've got uh, four... Yep, so any other guns? No, mine moved. See any. No, they all no, moved. They moved. They all, moved. They all, moved. They all moved. All right, we got uh, no musketry that I can see. So that means melees. Pick one. Uh, none. Two. Jeff, we'll start on your side. Okay. Look for, uh, I was going to set the tone for to that me. side. Six yeah, to six. six to six straight up. Yeah, six to six. Do it. All right. Remembering the four, five, and six is hits. Oh, Velker, the dice nice. are banned in you. I well, got three. No, four, five, six. Right, I got three. I got one, 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 four, five, six. Oh, is that you? Wait a minute. Oh, no. Uh, no, I got four, five, six. Yeah, I was mine. like, what are you talking about? So you lost Wait by two. Wait a minute. Two. You lost by two. I got three to, two, three yes, to one. Three to one. Yes. Yeah. My dice landed, and then Jeff's results popped up. Got it. Yeah, they, they yeah they did a pop up right next to each other. I didn't even see mine. And I have a Away with you, cavalry. Let me yeah, send that. them so, flying. Yeah, these horses go back uh, six inches. Don't they? And they face the wrong way. Don't they run away no matter what? Is that only against infantry? It, yeah, cavalry bounces off of infantry that doesn't that it doesn't destroy. So how many inches again? That? Six. Facing the wrong way. All right, next melee. 
Uh, I believe that's uh, five to six, but he has to re-roll. Correct. Five to six. Uh, Austrians re-roll all hits. And I have the five. You have the six. Jeff hits for Ooh, two. That's two. not going to be so well. Well, oh. two hits. Four. Reroll all oh. four. But he's got to re-roll. Be this could be bad. We'll see. Two. Got him. He wins. Yes. All right. So. Bye. Good day, sir. Oh, that's right. Crone Prince was hit earlier by the by the uh, gunfire. By the big pew pew. So, uh, yeah, you go back uh, six inches facing the right way. Good day, sir. Do I go straight back, or do I? Yeah, can you I go angle away from back? him. You got to go through your own guys. I don't. I think you're gonna have to park behind them. Okay, that, that's what I was. I, 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 my brain said that that's yep. the way it goes. But I. Well, can you can we, go. Can here. we just? In, you can. You can get in here yeah. if you want. Yeah, but that's what I. I yeah. thought we could get there. So. Yeah. You're in there. Oh boy, that's not good. All right, let's hope I'm a little better here. All right, so that's. You did uh, good. One and one. That's one, not bad. I was about to say one and one. Uh oh, it's Dalinor in charge of cavalry. Yeah, this is... <laughs> the the record here is spotty. I know. The record is spotty. Where are you going, buddy? Let's start with this one. I'm at a disadvantage with this one, but. Yep. Uh, how do you pay for that disadvantage? Is it just a die? I, yeah, I'm minus. Die. I'm a minus one. Yeah, because of the. Some five. Six to five. Why are you at a disadvantage? Because he's charging Because I'm going. I'm charging a bill. Ah! Oh! Oh, dude. <laughs> he got all day is what he got. Don't matter. Okay. Velker Dice is showing up. <laughs> and, and Ron Dice. It's a lethal combination. Yeah. Well, he's attacking with cavalry. What do you expect? This is what we're saying. It is this that we are saying. And over here, O'Reilly Auto Parts, another six to five. I think so. Oh no! Oh no! Six to seven. Wow. Eight? He's, attacking. he's eight. He's oh, attacking, but sure. he's uphill. So, six to seven. And he gets shock. He, he's yeah, a, he's charging uphill. Two. Oh. Three for Velker. Four. Four oh, for there Ron. we go. A narrow victory, but a victory nonetheless. And actually, you know, this is the the perfect victory of one to one stuff. Current is five. Current is six. And Edward Velker, you bounce six inches facing the wrong way. And he says, "I like that hill. I'll take it." Yes, sir. Uh, could could this could this guy have taken space too? Yes, he gets one base width to advance. We'll have inch and a half. Ooh, scary. I want that hood. All right. I'm not doing too bad, Jeff. Two for two. two. And a double cannon hit, so I'm happy. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, the cannon and, hit was really the news. And I can, I, I got back here where I can rally his, my troops. He's not in, in a place where he's going to be able to rally these guys. So the one, the, right. the one. The only hit, problem is he's now out in the wing. Well, he was going to be out in the wing by himself. He's out in yeah. the wing by himself. Yep. So, all right, let's find out about them reinforcements, fellers. See if I got to save again. Because you're eligible now. You are in an Austrian controlled area. So it's a times five, right? It's five, yeah. It's now turn 11. 11. But, so you. So uh, one, two. It's still a one or a two. So uh, we'll. Can I do them for... separately? Yes. Yes. Column right, let's E. Let's go for E. They're not feeling it. How about column G? Oh, they're feeling yeah. it. Yeah. Yes, I'll take it. Column G, they were they were feeling a little better about it. Well, we know what we got to do. I got to go over here real quick. I got to save. I already got a save built up. That's nice. Overwrite that, please. That changes thinking a little bit, Jeff. Oh, yeah, a bit. 
I don't how big of the big, I don't, force I don't is quite it? remember how big G was. There they are, G. G is decent. Was tenth core. Tenth core. Oh, another good cavalry unit. Yeah, this is. Ooh, these are some pipe hitters. Who is this? Burn a, burn a road. No. Anything? I gotta anything. think who this is because so this is because Dutch Cursiers. Yeah, you've got this is what I'm looking at. This is these are I'm wondering I'm gonna see who that is. Anyway, it's not what we're here for. We're here to get these boys on the board for you. Load. They didn't pick many leaders though, did they? No. There are very few leaders. Yeah, kinda of disappointing. single-handedly try to crash my own game um with all these figs Holy we're god. about to here we go oh my god we go. it's australis well it'd be even worse if we didn't have uh, make one tool oh goodness yeah so this is g so i'm getting rid of g you see where they belong six inches as we discussed i'll let you handle them got a fairly good ed table edge though to Bring him on. Oh, yeah, that's a great point. No, no, no. If you go, if you go to Italy and you do not do um, Pompey and Pompey and, and, and Herculaneum. Oi. Oi. You're not, then you're, you haven't gone to Italy. I'm everybody's, like, <laughs> everybody's like Rome, Rome, Rome. I love Rome. I've been, I've been twice. I love Rome. I love Ravenna because that's where Dante is buried. I love Florence. How do you not? I'm not a big fan of Venice. Not a fan. But oh I wasn't a fan of Venice either. Oh, I get, I get seasick. So I'm not, I'm not very interested in Venice. But oh my God. Pompeii and Herculaneum, I just, it it makes you understand when when you say a word like a phrase "lost civilization," you realize how little we really understand Rome. It just teaches you so much about how much was lost when Rome when the Roman civilization passes. Hence, why they call it the Dark Ages. Well, right. <laughs> I have colleagues that would resemble that remark, but but you do you. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, my master's degree is in in that period, uh, so yeah, be really careful. No, don't call them the dark ages. Yeah, those people get. Well, you gotta think they get, they get how much. They get I know they do, but think about it. How much technology was lost if we didn't have if Rome actually didn't fall in the way because they were very advanced for their oh, yeah. about, you know. Oh, yeah. If we didn't lose all that, how more advanced would we be nowadays? Well, well, look, it was it was as if the heavens opened up when I discovered that the Irish essentially invented punctuation because we forgot how to read Latin. Yeah, but, that's true yeah. too. You know, so. Well, there's a book out how the uh, Irish saved civilization. History. Yeah. Um, so, and that's a really good read. Mm -hmm. right. Is that my six inch? Well, good that's thing I'm, why. Good thing I'm a half Irish. I I was so annoyed when they the in the colors jumped uh, medieval jumped to the crusades because there's so many great battles in oh, the no, no, in the eight hundreds and nine hundreds. Do you want so to, I look? I think you should be grateful they bothered with Byzantium. Nobody cares. I, I know, I, I, but how can you not? Those are some of the. And Belisarius is, in my opinion, without question, the greatest combat commander um, to ever live. Now, he he didn't understand politics, and he was not a be the best strategist. But a combat commander, he is the he was the best. See, see, John. Eh, I'll see, go with Napoleonic. See, see, John, John, and here's the funny part. I've actually used in my when I taught Western Civ at Marquette University. I have used Life of Brian to explain why the Romans hated the Jews. Oh, I love the Life of Brian. I have used it to say the Romans didn't have an anti-Semitic bone in their body. They didn't. They just didn't understand people that were that profoundly different from them. Yes. They they just they they, they just they, they, 
<laughs> I've told my son the stories. That's not why we're here. We're here to fight, but that's such a great topic. Oh my God, what a great topic. All right. They so understood golf better than they understood juice. <laughs> it's like, now, that's I, the I, truth, I, though. That, that is the comparison I make. Yeah. Dang um, it. Um, you know, Jim, you got to re do some deleting. What do I got to do here? Okay. So, anyway. Uh, we've done this. That is good. All gone. And now it is time to advance the turn. We almost got all the reinforcements on. I'm a little surprised by that, to be honest. Um, but that's okay. Cause now well, it's that's because we're starting now, so late in the day. Well, it's also true. It is now turn 12. Oh, but how many, now, uh, how many did you add? How many troops is that, Ron? Five, which only adds one more. That's one more point, right. That's what I would have thought. So you've moved up to nine. Okay. But that's going to take effect when the other ones come in because I have to count the the two that didn't yeah. count for this. All right, so we did that. Excellent. Please roll some more dice for Velker so that he may go. Yay, going. That's my favorite thing to do. His go. <laughs> All right, Velker, you have it. You have the car. All right. Oh, uh, Jeff. Yes. Because I got the big third. You, you want to take care of the reinforcements, the tenth. Um. Yeah. I'll, I can handle them. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Retreat. Got a fancy hunch not. Did we bonk? Oh, we, we, yeah, you bonked. I kind of expected Yay. that. Can't you can't turn you can't turn at the end. Oh, you you gotta back up them. You gotta back up them. Yeah, he's cab. There you go. Excuse me, one second. I need a drink. Two points. Continue. Mm hmm Remember they got bounced? Yeah. Is there combined arms in this game? There's not. There is not. Very well. Next two. Moving forward. So Remember you can't go into those trees. The minute you hit those trees, you're gonna have to you're just gonna have to stay right outside of them and you're fine. You're good. You got to go in there, but you got to, you, you move 12 inches. Uh -huh. If you get anywhere near that terrain, you can only move six. Oh, so I want to start my next move getting the 12? Uh, no, what you want to do is now you've got six, so it's going to take you two turns to get that point. Because it's in them trees. Trees are mean. They give us oxygen, but they're mean. Yeah. Now you got to activate this gun. Because otherwise it's a single activation. So that's two. That's four total for you. What else? Okay, Linda now. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh, come and let me shoot you, please. Please. He seems willing. Howarden is willing. So many targets, so little time. The Kaunitz Militia. Here it comes. So that's six. Okay. Um, uh, all right, and now uh, down here. All right. Do the fun stuff. So. So, these guys. Mm-hmm. Oh, those guys are bad guys. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cross the river. Now we'll figure these guys out. Seven, eight. You're still in the reserve. Yep. Okay, so that's now, the second reserve. Where's the rest of that second reserve? Oh, it's over here. Got it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I move so slow. 
Remember, you're breaking up a core. What does that do? Remember, it makes it harder to activate them. You can do it, but you're, you're going to lose core activations. You won't be able to activate them as one big group. Well, that's a piece of cannons in between. Okay. Show me what you're doing. I'm planning to for them all to go the same way. I'm just all right. making space for these guys. Got it. Mm-mm. Not at the end. Got to face the way you marched. Unless you go three. Oh. Eleven. How long are these bases? Three inches wide. Three inches wide, inch and a half deep. Twelve. Put them back at the base. Turn them any way you want. But then you got to move them just like that. Yep. All right. Um, Hang on a second. Uh, yeah. Wait, wait. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Fifteen. And I'm done. All right, and I think you are done. I was going to say that's that's how many points you have. Yeah. Fifteen exactly. Yeah. Oh wait, how many dice do I have? Three dice. You got a big roll. So you got you got near the max and you burned it all. Well done. Uh, gunfire. Do you have any? Yes, you do. These guys did not move. He can't shoot because they're in melee, but he can shoot that guy. Yeah, he could shoot there. Uh, five dice, or sorry, four dice with a bonus. He's heavy artillery. Did not move. Shoot there. Mm -hmm. That's going to be canister range, or is it? Yes. Nope. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. Oh, six, six inches six of canister. Inches. canister. Yep. yep. So that's canister. Uh, so therefore, five with a bonus. Is it? just get a bonus? Yeah, it's just a bonus. Still isn't getting to use it. Still. Doink. And this gun. Anybody it can shoot at? I don't think so. Yep. Yeah, I made that calculation myself. That's close, but no cigar. This is the angle. 45. Yeah. No, a 45 would be measured from the center of the back. Oh, that's right, because it's not square. Right. Not there. But this guy. Do you have any who, who, who guy? What guy? Who guy? The guy in melee. Haha. -ha. Yeah. Uh, any? I'm just checking. You got any other musketry? Can I shoot this guy? From where? Um. He can shoot this guy because 50 percent of his base is through here. Yep. It looks okay. like. Yep. He can shoot there. Cool. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, four no bonus. Um, Nothing. Yeah. All right. Uh, 
therefore, we're at the melee rounds, I think. I don't think I see any other musketry because those other guys all moved. Yeah. All right. What's that here? Ooh, Valker. Valker, Valker. What? Forgot these guys. Oh, I always forget about these guys. Well, I, Nothing to do. Yeah, I, I already yeah, got my yeah. points. Yep, yep, yep. Well, it's one melee. Uh, it is six to six to six, straight up. Come on, Jeff. Come on, me. Ha ha. Three to three. Four hit or three hit. Yep, three to three. Three to three. So that means Jeff wins. Yep. Making a bold. That means tackle. I win. Yep, you do. You do, sir. Six inches facing the right way, Valker. All right. Uh, is that it? You got nobody's got any yeah, reinforcements got to bring on. All right, cool. Rolling. Turn thirteen, Valker. Please give them modice. You have more dice. All right, I'm gonna use the Napoleon sting. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're getting Napoleon sting. Because I'm going through the trees, I'm assuming I only get three, right? Correct. Correct. Yeah, Ian Jackson, I'm telling you, man, Romani ain't domum. The people, they are called the Romans. They go to the house. When you spend four years, actually five of Latin, that stuff is funny. Was that your third? Yes, that's my yeah. third. Yeah, okay. I'm like, all right, these guns. What do I want to do with these guns? I'm jammed up in here. Yeah, you might want to just wait till you have to spread out more. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to go to singles at this point, so. Oh, no, I got oh, that. No, I got that cavalry over here, too, so. Yeah, yeah, do you want to go or do you want me to go over to the cavalry? Or yeah, the, 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 I'm remember, go. How it, remember how it works, though. How it works, though. It's, yeah. You get to do your thing here, and that's Napoleon's yeah. thing for two. Then it bounces over to yeah. Ron to do whatever yeah. he's going to do. And, he can and, and then, he can then the reinforcement. No, no, and then it bounces and, back and to bounces you. Back remember, to we you. keep changing yeah. activations. Back, get back. You, okay. The reason you're getting to do all this is because you're all so jammed up. Right, you're also close to each yeah. other, so it doesn't. We're not having to keep such a close track, but in a more normal experience, we'd be bouncing back and forth between you and Ron, checking regularly okay. to see regularly. if you've exceeded right. your modice. So you've spent, and you've spent, you've spent, spent two, two spent over two to over vigorous Davu. All right, all right, I'll be right back. All right, Jim, it's that one degree thing again. <laughs> if all you want to do is hit him, we're not going to have a problem. What are you, are you trying to do more than that? Well, well, yeah, if you see. Yeah, yeah. it's not going to happen. I, I don't buy it. That's that's what that's You ain't getting that flank. Why not? Uh -uh. Really? 45? You don't think not, so? Not in terms not, of him getting in, in there, too. Him getting in there, too. 
That's what I'm saying. One degree will hit this whole front area. If you shoot, shoot, shoot him straight Come ahead on. from where he is. We know what you're doing. We know what you're doing. Yeah, because I, I just want to see something. Cause it's like with a straight line, if I did. That's not straight. No, no, no. If I did a one degree with straight line, that's, that's not what I'm trying degree. to show you. That's not, that's not one degree. That's less than forty-five, though. Well, shoot. I mean. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not that I'm doing this for you. We know that that's your you know that's, that your that's your front end. So your front end. your right, mark. Right. You know I mean? mark. So draw that line. So draw that line. Okay, now go ahead. Yeah, that's fine. I'm saying now do this guy. Well, first of all, you can't. First that's of all, you a I can't. I can't do it like, yet. So that's why I got to see. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's no, it's, not, it's actually it's not single. It's these oh, two you can pour it over there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is legit right there. That's fine. All right, Jim. What do you think about uh, samurai battles? I, I, it's not a period I like. I, I, it's it's so weird. It's so wrong. I should like it, and I don't. No, I. it's not a period that, that I'm a big fan of, but I do have to say I, I'm really enjoying the battle. I, I, I don't have it. I didn't buy either of them. For me to not have a Commands and Colors game is unheard of, but I don't have it. Well, and that's like, I, I'm not a big C Civil War fan, but I... And I the way I actually got into Command and Colors is when my son was nine years old and the first edition of um, Battle, Battle Cry. Cry came out. We, uh, we, I found it, bought it, and he and I played it to death, and we still have it. Oh, yeah. I've got, um, I've got enough of the I, – I had the original. I gave it to a friend, and then I bought enough of the Hasbro – the 150th anniversary so I could do Epic Battles. Yeah. But I'm not a fan of American Civil War. So, no, no, you know. I, I'm not. I won't call myself a fan, but I definitely wanted enough to do it. I have, I love Ron. I, you know, I love Hong Kong movies. There's all sorts of stuff in that era. I realize Hong Kong is different from Japan. Yeah. But it's it. I, I, Nobunaga's ambition never interested. Shogun for the PC never interested. Yep. Not yep. And I love Japanese culture. I love it. Yep. Um, just those war that that style of warfare and that war, I, I tried watching The Last Samurai. Utterly uninterested. Crazy stuff. Oh, I like that movie. You did you? Yeah, I, and yeah, I, 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 like I, I am no Tom Cruise hater. Well, it's like, um, you know, I don't own um, any of uh, the World War Two the uh, Memoir Forty Four. Uh, again, I should own some of that, um, but that it, it's at a scale and it just it doesn't fire me up. I think on the if you play it Overlord, it's fun. Um, otherwise, yeah, it's what it is. So wait back to you, Jeff. Yeah. Well, whoa, 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 time out. Oh, what? One, two, three, four. Oh, what's bigger is do again? It's divided it. in half. It halves it. Yeah. Okay. How many did you? One, move? two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's four. Total of six. Total of six. Continue. Continue. All right. Okay. Do you okay, want me to re want me to do the reinforcements, or do you want me to go back over to? No reinforcements, because once you go over to singles, you can't do. Okay. You can't do uh, uh, thingy dingies anymore. Of course. All right. Can I go? You know where I want you to send that shock trooper, right? Oh, yeah. I, I, I was assuming that, uh, okay, we'll just do that right now. Um, okay, are we, are we happy now? And, you know, I clap my hands. There we go. All right. <laughs> so. Oh, Jim, you probably got to delete dice again, aren't you? I think so.
I'm just trying to put these guys into line. That's all I'm doing here. So if I screw it up, holler at me. I don't think you got that much move. You only got three inches with those trees. Okay. I'm worried about that guy in the that's, front, for that matter. Yeah. Uh, well, that's uh, that's what I'm saying. All right. So we start here. So he turns. Yep. Tell me what I can do. Three inches. Okay. So. That wasn't too far off. Yeah, that was actually pretty accurate, actually. Pretty close. I was just being on realistically in the column, two columns. So it's just so I kind of screwed you with that. No, 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 no. I when I saw, I, I already kind of had in my head what if you were going to ask me to do this, what I was going to do. So okay, it's um, so it's not an issue. Not an issue. It's not an issue when I kiss you. What the heck? <laughs> I'm sorry, I have no idea. Uh, I'm in one of those moods tonight. Security. <laughs> I remember when he goes through the morale check. Oh, no, wrong game. Right. Yeah, I was going to say, I think I'm okay there, so. Yeah, so it's so interesting to compare rule sets, especially two games that are so obviously related to each other, like Blucher and uh, Volley and Bayonet. Um, yes. Uh, it's really interesting in that Sam's Grand Armée, which preceded Blucher, was, was closer in complication to Volley and Bayonet. Oh, stink. Uh, idiot. Okay, Jeff. Relax. Yeah, uh, I'm. I I need to go do something here. So. Well, see, Napoleon's happy about that. You need to do something. I'm always happy about that. Oh, oh yeah. Memory can't bleak. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. That's right. I need to turn. Yeah. No. OJ. OJ. What's up, brother? That man? Will give me that will give me Viva six. Viva the Deutschland. <laughs> yes. Viva the like, Deutschland. <laughs> matter with oh, you. I'm yep. just short. Just short. How are you, Mike? Uh, good. How about you guys? Doing well. I'm drinking and playing Napoleonics with my friends. That's And my son, no less. So, uh, life, that that's, that's about okay. as much as I ever really asked for. All right, so that's right, that. So that's that force. That's five more. No, six more. Yeah, but it doesn't, it doesn't get go. checked until you go run. All, All right. right. All right. Activating oh, these two. Wait, time out, time out, time what? out, time out. Who went first? I did. did. I did. Yes, yeah, I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go run. All right, I'm activating these two. Mm -hmm. You're going to need all three. You still don't have it. Mm -mm. You 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 slid. You don't got it. Yeah, you, your center point has to hit him. Yep, and you you you're obliquing. That's your your turn too far. You slid yourself. I'll give you the bonk, but you don't. Well, actually, I can't even give you the bonk because you don't get that center point in. Yeah, you're not going to hit him. It's interesting. This is one of those cases where if the bases were deeper, it would work. But he's got six inches. Um, yeah, but he can't uh, turn it, more than 45 degrees. Oh, okay. And he, yeah, he's going to no need to go 90. He's going to need to go 90. All right, well, since I can't hit him, I'll just 
<coughs> redo this. Keep turning. I'm not touching. I'm not touching you. <laughs> not touching, not touching. No touching. Yeah, OJ doesn't want to play with us anymore. Now that one I know I can do. Yep. Actually, tonight we were uh, looking at reception halls for my daughter's wedding. Oh, so. muzzle. Oh. So, she, so I'm sorry, but she uh, takes precedence over See, you know, look at this. Father of the bride. Look at this. Everybody's turning their back on us for their family. family. I know, right? <laughs> Ron, hey. why aren't you in school? Especially daughters, daughters baby. baby. Spring break. Yeah, spring break's the best. Yeah, the the Velker unit break. is the Velker unit is on spring break. I, wait, I didn't have spring break. I'm in school. We didn't have spring, didn't break. Have spring break. Uh, we do. Our see where I go to night school is also the the um school for the um you know for the kids or whatever that if their school's closed our our classes are closed. So right. what what venue did you find? Uh, none uh, yet. None yet. We <laughs> rental halls are expensive. Oh, oh yeah. I think we finally got her talked into considering the little community center in our area. That's like three hundred and fifty bucks. We paid we paid four fifty up in Amish country for a, a a beautiful barn, and we got blessed because we got chairs and tables included in the price. There you go. I mean, the uh, next closest prices that we're finding are over a thousand bucks. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. And, and some of those don't to... include tables and chairs or yeah. anything else. Jim, so that's a total to... of fourteen m uh, mo. You all total. done. You all done. Okay. You are you. That's why I was checking. You got seven points. You just made it. Wow. So that's 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 somehow how it runs. Gunfire. What guns you got? All right, all right. I I, I think, think this gun, this gun can gun hit this can artillery. Hit whoa, whoa, which one? What artillery? What are you talking about? Or I mean this I mean, this, 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 uh, this cavalry. cavalry. No, it's got to shoot the. Oh, is it? Oh, that's true. It only has to shoot if it's in range. Oh, They're outside. You just missed having to. Shoot I know. I did the calculation because uh, I was going to shoot at them, but I really want to shoot at this ca this cab if I can. Yeah, so. it sure can. Five, no bonus. Wait till you start going to the caterers. Uh -huh. I'm very pop. That's I was till the day he died. I was very popular with my father-in-law because my wife and I eloped. We, you don't, you have no idea, OJ, how much. Oh, it's yeah, it's gonna get my expensive. wife. My wife and I paid for our own wedding. Yeah, and then and then when we got church married, what about? How old are you? Yeah, he's firing. Yeah. Well, that gun went. Well, Who's that next? Gun went. That dude up right here. here. That dude up here. Yep. Uh, can he fire? If, is he in those trees? No, he's not. Because you can't fire if you're in the tree. Well, that's true. Oh, right. That's true. This guy can. Yeah, he this can. guy can. Yeah, yeah he's good. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba. Four no bonus. No, I can't spam me this time. Man, we can't hit the broadside of a barn with artillery today. No, I hit first time and yeah, artillery, then about? after that. Oh, that's right. That's right. You yeah. did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Spent all of his luck there. <laughs> uh, True that, my son. Now, I know you have musket fire. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Musketries, yeah. musketries, musketries. Where These two units can fire. Which one you want, Jeff? Just tell me. Uh, let's start with the front one. This one there. Boop, 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 boop. Straight over here. Seven, no bonus. Nothing. Ah. Not no. a sausage. Okay, the next unit. Who's that? Uh, yeah, right. That's there. that's not going to give it all to you, is it? It is not. Ergo, uh, five, three, no bonus. Or sorry, three with a bonus because you got some skirmishers. 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 
Three. Yeah, I was good. Yeah, well, I was like, wait a minute. All right, three. Three with a bonus. Yeah, I get the bonus. Hey, I mean, a little bit helps. Mm -hmm. All right. Any other shooting? Shooting. No. No shooting. All right. I know Not there's some me. fighting. Where is it? Oh, uh, let me hit the guys in the back rear. Come on, let's. Wait, wait. Which one? Sorry, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Way over here. Thank you. I added mine into that one. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, so we got eight. We got eight. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Sixteen to five and five re rolls. I I'm in danger. Oh no! Reroll your one hit, Velker. Shabam. Oh, nothing. nothing. Literally nothing. You can't lose this. Nope, you can't. He's dead. That's a wipeout. Yeah, Super that's a wipeout. Yeah, we... Deader than dead. 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 I might lose this next one, though, Jeff, so. Not not let, me get a, let me get a quick shot of this so I can, for posterity's sake, please. It's interesting, and we're going to find this out when we move on past it back into the Sharnhorst phase. Sam is extremely generous when it comes to... It, but he's also very simple as to the effect of combat on these units. What I mean by that is all this unit will be coming back, but it'll now be undersized. Right. You know, it's... it's well, especially... If we gotta, like like it. It, yeah, we got to keep kind of give us separate, like... If we retire or any, we have to put them to Yeah, the yeah, side. retires, that's yeah, a whole retire. different gimmick. So over here, this fight here. This it's fight like here. three to five. I see a five. I see a four. Is that uphill? Is that up? Yeah, it is. Three to five. Velker, you got five. Two. There's my six and I needed wins, before. He wins just by enough. By a hair. By a wee hair. And I see you doing it, so good man. Is that it? I, I'm going to tell you guys, this is a better battle than I figured it would be, to be very honest. I, I'm going to give Oh, with Velker, us, we have to spread ourselves out. That's I'm going to give Velker I mean, we're some so credit. Condensed. I think his decision to attack has forced you to try to deploy along this very narrow frontage. Yeah, I mean, this is... Yeah, it, it's jamming us. Yep. It's jamming us. He's he's pr trying to prevent you from being... A, I, I won't know if he'll... He will lie, of course, if I ask him if he did it deliberately. But... Uh... <laughs> well, but in the next turn or two, we're going to get our... Our advantage you, you, is going to begin you, to show you, here. You would think. You already have an advantage. You would think. You would think. All right. Now I get to roll for uh, now you to see if you got some reinforcements. It is turn twelve, correct? So that still means you need a two or a one. Two or a one. Uh uh. No. No. <laughs> I gotta stop rolling the sixes during that time. None for you, sir. All right. How are we doing? On, how are we doing on time? We're doing good. We can punch out one more Velker turn, I think, for sure. We're past noon. That's neat to know. Turn 14. Velker, you're up. Uh, we need. Uh, we do need Modice for the Velker, though, please. I got it. Looking at him real quick. Velker, you're up. In the center. Yes, sir. Let's get it on. Bonk. No, no. Mm -mm. But keep going. Guns. Uh, did you get him? No, no too far. No. Too far. Too yeah, far. No guns. Sure. Very close. Oh, gee. But no guns. Come on, well, get in they, front of my can't, artillery. You can't shoot and move. Remember? Right, right. That's why I'm moving back. Yeah, yep. Keep going. Keep going. Can I shoot them from this range? Nope. Mm -mm. Uh, let's see. No, because it's the yeah. same range. 
charge yeah, range six point and two. shooting range is the same distance, so he's just out. So. so you're saying I can't get to the food? No, no. Besides, your oh, center point has to go in food. Oh, their base. Got it. Okay. I don't know if you want to put yourself at canister range to the foot artillery. What, what, what else do I do? You park yourself over here and at least try to get a decent shot next turn. All right. If that's what you're doing. Yeah, and you force me to shoot at you instead of the cavalry. Well, either which way, it's canister shot. If he moves in the six to shoot, yeah. it's still yeah. canister shot. If he moves up here, it's still canister shot. Do you, yep. is, there a, is there a limit on how far you can turn before you charge? 45 degrees. So it's three even clicks. The unusual situation where both of them have to re-roll. Uh, however, what? yeah, yeah, they both because you have to re-roll because you're attacking horse. He has to re-roll because well, re you're hitting him in the flank. Horse? But I thought, uh, why wouldn't that just be frontally? Nope. Like, Anytime you attack I'm horse. Saying, why wouldn't that be? I, I, because infantry attacking horse is a hairy proposition under the best of circumstances. Sure, so you have moved. Not counting the hair on the horse. One, two, three. What about these fellas? You doing anything with count it's? Or they can just or they can just shoot. That's all they need. What's the range? They they've got to shoot these guys. What? They're closest. You have to shoot. You, you have to shoot closest. I'm yep. talking about charging here. Oh, yeah, you can charge those guys. I think. I mean. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Now, what's the nomenclature for militia? Because it's not on the chart. What's that? It it's militia. So what does militia do? Uh, they were so designated, I gotta think that means they're conscript. Yeah. Which means they re-roll? No. It means that they're limited. They can't... They can't, they can't attack cavalry. They can't attack, attack cav. So I couldn't mm. charge those cavs. Yeah, they they can't attack cav. They get a minus one defending against cav. That's it. Yeah. Right, so that's four. Yes, you may. How does a uh, river affect these guys? Where I've so, whoa. Cuts them in half. Like move diff six. Difficult yeah. move, six. Yeah, if you have, have to go six. Mine, that's not going to work. Uh... But, well, hang on, though. Unless you're charging. Yeah, unless you're charging. You can smack so them. So I can. Yep, okay. absolutely. Yep. yep. Absolutely. But can they go through the... Is there enough space for them to go through the, the woods there? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, there's space for them to go through the woods. Oh, I hit this guy. Who do you hit? There's well... You... Oh, wait. No, because I... Because center point doesn't hit, so I'd have to hit the guy in the middle, right? Which is strong. Defense. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, you're going to hit... You're going to hit this guy. Right. Anything... We well, can go six. All right, but that's where he's going to go. Okay, just so you know, now you're putting these guys on individual actions. This guy is. Yeah. And this guy. He's got nobody to be with. Unless I move someone there. Got it. Go on. So that's two more. Yeah. But that puts you at a total of what? Six? He's six. So he's at six. Can you keep going? Nope. 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 That's what I thought. Am you're I done. Range? No, I'm saying you're done. No, I'm saying that I wasn't sure if these guys were connected. Yeah, no. Oh, the weight? Wait. Uh -huh. Even... Well, how far does this guy Three move? inch. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. 2.4. You move 2.4, so move back. There you go. Nope. Couldn't have moved him. So you can move into the river still if you want. Oh. 
That's legit. All right, that's all your moves. Gunnery. You. Do I have it? Yeah. Oh yeah, you got this shot here, for sure. No, this guy's melee. No, no, you can shoot over here. Or is that you? That's your guy. Sorry, don't do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He can't shoot anybody. Hey, Jim, did you ever bring down his morale? Sure didn't. Thank sure you. Didn't. Click. Yeah, he doesn't have any. Doesn't have any targets. To... No. Any yeah. these guns should though. Yep. Yeah, they can hit. They can hit this artillery. Or this cavalry. And they can also hit the guys behind him if they want. No, those no, guys. That's, that, yes, that, please. That's his hit militia. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Let, him, let yeah. him shoot at his militia. <laughs> I got hey, Yeah, the only target. Straight. So, yeah, you want to shoot those horse? Yes. All right. The first one at the front is a. He says looking. Four, no bonus. Got one. All right. Four with a bonus. Got him. Right. Pew pew. Koenig taking a pounding. Any musketry? There was some before, but I don't know is. Uh, there's uh, right, no. here, right here. Oh no, they moved. So no, yeah, there's moving. no musketry. That was right. moving. So yeah. I want to look over here though, because there was a whole bunch of business. I guess not. I yeah, they just they just got dead. killed. Yeah, they just got killed. Well, there's these guys, but, but they no get, they got nothing. That's horses. Yeah, I guess so. So, so melee right here. Uh, that melee. You want that one first? No, let's talk about the one all the way in the forest. Oh, got it. From right to left. All right, so that's uh, six. That's uh, gonna be a tough one, Jeff. Six to yeah, six. Six rerolls all hits. Awesome. The French reroll all hits. Five. five. I'll take five. Nice. Nice. Got to reroll five. Oh, Got to reroll five. Can you do it? Does he stick with the walk? No. no. <laughs> That's no, net two. Not. I win my coup. I go back six. Uh, no. no, he does. He does. Remember, he's he a horse. Yeah, oh, that's right. And then scaredy pants. And they go back six, so they'll be in my range to shoot them. Okay, I'll, yeah. I can live with that. Yeah, no, I can live exactly with that. Away, yeah, uh -huh. you know better. No, you went back six, so yeah, yeah. by definition. <laughs> Logic would dictate which one you want. What's your? Uh, you got two other melees. Well, let's do this one. Wait, no, I got, I this is all I your action, more. Jeff. I have three more. Let's oh. do this guy. All right, the uh, the militia melee. Here it comes. Uh, six. That's your six artillery to, gives me six seven. to six. No, cash artillery is only for shooting. That's yep. dedicated oh. guns, and that's another. Yeah, thing. dedicated guns is volume bayonet. That's right. Six to six. That's right. Oh, two. Two. Uh, uh, two. Two. Oh, no. Two to two. A bitter blow. You lose, I win. Thank you. Go home. Go home. <laughs> yeah. Have a nice day. See ya. Only okay. do what you have to do to get the win. I can't. I borrow your burlap sack? I can't. I can't get any. Uh, I can't do any more damage to you OJ. because I'm the defender. So. That's true. OJ, can you can you help? <laughs> six six what, inches straight what, back. What, what kind of help do you need, Vicar? Killing them all. <laughs> kill these French people. Just give them time. They'll kill themselves. I can see that you're playing their billions. Or they'll billions. kill each other, one of the two. I can see you're playing their billions. Can those billions come and help me? Yeah, how about those billions? Four to uh, six. These billions wouldn't be of much help to you. <laughs> Four to six. Four to six. Ugh, uh, no. Ah, I'll take that. I can't win. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. You lose. You take two, and I take one. Is your dad well, laughing I'm at you, Velker? Because you're a what? You lost. You take two. Yep. No. Thank you. I, I he is. He is. He is. He's simply refusing. You have to understand. Periodically in my house, we simply, yeah. we simply refuse. I poo poo that. Re oh yeah. yeah you, I, I have a. You've I been poo pooed. Poo -poo that re -roll. You've been poo pooed. 
I, I have a, a second grader I teach that refuses things. Uh, it does not end well. <laughs> no, no. My whole, so household is given, my whole household is given to simply saying, no, we refuse. Especially when it comes to food. That's true. All right. So now finally That's... we come over here to Alois Liechtenstein. Six to four, both re-rolling all hits. Let's be clear, though, Jim. That only works with oh wives and singles Where and single kids. So you got five. Jeff's got. I have four. Yee. I got three. Got to re all re roll all three yeah. now. Yep, re roll. Yeah. You both do. So you wound up with four. Jeff's got to re roll three. Is, is Velker um, taking on both one. these guys by, yes. by himself tonight? Yep. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's I why. Am. That's why I reached out. Here, that's why I reached out. Well, unfortunately, we were in the parking lot of Sam's at the time. So, <laughs> so that actually help. takes him down. He is fatigued, but Yay. Velker still bounces. But not dead. Wait, I bounced? Yep. What? You attacked cavalry. Wait, I thought cavalry always runs. What? Oh, no, it does. I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, I was going to yeah, say. He's got to go. He's got to go, yep. The god. Six inches? Uh, six inches facing the wrong way. Uh, Okay. Technically, when you go this way, yeah, he runs directly away from the he, away from the he, he runs from, from the melee, so it's okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's over that where way. I am. Yeah. yeah. And it must indeed be the, and he has to face the basically the wall. You're grounded. Face the wall. I was going to say, you're grounded. Put on the dunce cap and face the wall. Stand in the corner until you're ready to come back to class. And act and act appropriately. And that's check for, uh, no, he doesn't have any reinforcements. So. No, no, he doesn't. All right. Well, we're going to grind out one more turn. What? It's just no, a, it's, that's, that's the killing time of me. <laughs> Turn 15. That'll take us through halfway through the day, which is what I want to get to. So, uh, Mo Dice for the, uh, for the allies, please. The Austrians, in this case. No, it's not Mo Dice for the allies. It's Mo Dice for the French. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Dad. Work with me. I'm sorry, okay? You got Mo Dice. That's what you should okay. worry about. That's what you I wasn't sure if Jeff rolled. That's what I was saying. No, no, it's all good. My Jeff, Apolog you got Napoleon's thing oh, again. Oh, Many epilogues for the inconvenience. All right, so I'm going first? Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'm doing the Napoleon's thing. This cavalry is now within range of these guys, so. Mm -hmm. You sure want to go for them? Well, what, what's I, your strength? He can't. Uh, really got these guys. He can't attack these guys. He can't attack these guys. Yeah, because your center point your doesn't. Your center point is yeah, never going to get there. Oh. Never going to get there. I mean, you go three for three if you want to risk it. <laughs> Shoot the gap. Shoot the gap. Yeah, this is risky though. These these guys are fours. No, not these guys. Oh, oh they are. Oh. Okay. okay. I don't have a problem with, problem with that. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, they're in... Okay, you're in command. Okay, I'm sorry. I wasn't sure if you were in command or not. Yeah, yeah oh, I double-checked. I made sure. Bunk. Wow. Drunken cavalry. Back, forth, back, forth. Ah, we say, got him! <laughs> not since Cardigan led the Light Brigade into the Valley of Death. Now, these guys, by definition, can shoot at those guys. So I think yeah, you can gonna... shoot at them or charge them. Yo, I want to have wanna... five. It's five to four. All right. I want to pour fire into this guy. 
because I'll get these guys and this guy, and theoretically this guy too. So, but um, yeah. all right, you're gonna be able to deal with that cavalry for me. I'm gonna try. Okay. All right. Let's go get them. Is there a breakthrough? <laughs> yeah. Three inches, Jeff. Okay. Yeah. All right. Ooh. As of right now, you keep your formation like that and use these cannons. Can, can I hit them? Can I hit them? Yeah. Okay. That okay. works for me. All right, then. I'll leave these guys in place. Um, I can't rally until we get to single points. Um, so we will. I think we are. Um, that's third. So these guys. Okay. Uh, yep. Um, done. It goes to you. Uh, that's two points. All right. We're on. All right, Vig Davu's vigorousness. Davu's vigorousness. Davu's vigorous thing. All right, so you've got, already got one that can shoot at him. Okay. All Three. Four. That's a the vu's vigorousness this is. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm not making so it. Be, that's, that's why I'm not making it. That's not why I'm not totaling it yet. Right. There's, yeah, there's, so that's, there's, there's, two there's two sitting out there already. Sitting out there already. Right. right, and now I just move four, so that'll be another two. So you're saying you're done over here or you got more? No, I'm done. All right, so yeah, that's a total of four. Back to you, Jeff. Um, I think the only thing I want to do is move here and take control of that. Um, that seems fair. And I'm going to stand here and shoot these guys. And I want to keep everybody under control. So we'll just, yeah, we just kind of okay. be like this. Um can if you want you could yeah you could do that yeah I'm just what, these you guys to measure it yeah turn and measure oh that's right i got a turn yeah, all right all right i got 12 so i should be able to hit catch him yeah but you gotta clear this guy show me what happens when you turn one more time why he only has to clear him if he hits him. He could. Oh, that's right. He can charge oh, through him. That's right. He, that's can right. he can still charge through him. Yeah, never mind. He Go can... back. Yeah, never mind. Go back. There you go. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What is with you? <laughs> What's with your shoe? Yeah, I. Sorry, sorry. Oh, oh, and I got uh, Yeah, hang on, hang on. Let me do the original wobbly, the shakiest gun yeah, in the I, West. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm too zoomed out, and. But if I zoom in, then I have to run all over the place. I'm going to have to zoom in. If you rumble... Hey, Reg, good to see you, man. If you rumble all over my channel, you will see us playing both Sharp Practice and Men Who Would Be Kings. Official thumbs up on both games. 
Uh, and if you want, uh, Men Who Would Be Kings is be absolutely kings, the best absolutely game the for best colonial, game battles for colonial, available. colonial battles available. And Sharp Practice and is sharp practice just a whole lot of fun. Just a whole lot of fun. Velker, would appear they want to greet you. Yes, yeah, I get a sinking feeling. Um, and that's it. Okay. So it's three in the air. One, yeah. two, three. Yep. All right. Total seven. Seven over to you, Ron. Seven over to you, Ron. All right. Um, core activation. These two. All right, I'm going to surprise everybody. Right. Bunkers. Mm -hmm. I know, it was a shock. I know, it was amazing. I, I really appreciate the Austrians hanging that cavalry out there. It's just such a useful thing. Well, I didn't have much choice. And with the three modis, it's rough. Yeah, I mean, it's... That's 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 the thing. It's it's heavy. And heavy. these are the scouts that were scouting the sector, so that's why they got hung up the try out there. Yep. All right, that's two. Total of nine. Keep going. Okay, so it comes to me. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. All right. Um. Well, the only thing I really want to do is is uh, rally here. Go ahead. Okay. Or do you want to get these suckers out first? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, let's yeah. get those yeah. out of there. Um, and there's there's that stupid cavalry over there. That so, so I can turn around and go twelve, right? Right. The... You and Wiggles, I. <laughs> yeah, I... well, I'm because I'm too far zoomed out. But if I me. zoom in, it's it's a pain. So. You're killing me here. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. That's eleven. I missed a tree. Over, over to you, Ron. Individual activation. No chance. You're gonna wind up on top of them. Oh, you're leaving. You're you're booking. Yeah, I'm. You're booking. Yeah, I'm not charging. No, no. You're gonna leave. You're gonna end up facing that way. No, I went less than six. No, I'm saying you're gonna no, I'm keep. No, I'm saying you're you're facing this way. Facing this way. Question. Yes, I'm facing that way. Yes. That's thirteen and done. All right. Yay. Gunfire. All right. First so I've got artillery here. Mm -hmm. Um, is that canister? Four dice firing at those guys. It is canister range. So four with a bonus. Uh, no, it's not because I said so. Because he said so. Nice. There we go. Two owie. hits on him. That'll do it. Owie, owie. Left biscuit popping. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Two, All right, they're firing at this artillery over there, or this cavalry over here. Uh, five, no bonus. I'll one. take a hit on him. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's all my guns. Pop these guns here. Ron, you're going there. Uh, four, no bonus. Roll three sixes again. No, but I got one. When did you suddenly get luck? Man, this guy, this guy, I don't know, his luck seems to be turning. And you still have some musketry on him, too, so. Yeah, I got one more yeah, with musketry. Yeah, Any other gunnery? Yeah. Nope. All right, musketry. 
Where do you want to go? Why don't you shoot your mu one musket there at those guys? Start over. He start over here, just so we keep it on track. Oh, okay. All yeah, right. Let's yeah, keep it in line. Yeah, you can start with these guys. Where do you yeah, go? Right here. Start on. Of course, if you start on the other side, you. That's. <laughs> Uh, that's, uh, that's, that's, uh, two no bonus. Hi, how are you? Oh, that was oh come on! on. Whoa! Oh. All right, next. All right. And the guys in the trees, they can't shoot out of Correct. the trees, can they? Correct. Okay. So then, next will be these guys here. Yep. Shooting at the horse. Yep. Is that uh, what range is that? It's six. It's not musket. It's not. Uh, doesn't matter either which way. It's always half with the kids. Yeah, it's always half. Uh, but do you get the bonus? Does he get the? Do you get the skirmisher bonus against? No, cavalry? you I don't get. So. No, you don't get three no, no. bonus. Ah, oh, well. Nothing. Tried. Yeah, why not take it? Yeah, exactly. Here. All right. I've got uh, yep, this guy's right there. Um, Six. That's no five. Bonus. Six because it's attached artillery. Yeah. Oh, come on. Not a thing. Oh, oh, oh. Not a thing. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Open uh, mockery. Yes. Open the... mockery. And these guys here. Three with a bonus. Uh, uh, you got to shoot at the horse. Three That's my horse. Those are my horse. Oh, That's those are his horse, horse facing oh, the wrong way. Got it. Sorry, they're in fairness, they are facing the wrong way. They're facing the just right. Because they're supposed to be facing the wrong way. <laughs> Three with a bonus. Three I'm with away from everybody. Running away. Three with a bonus. Ah, oh, not a thing. Come on. No. No for you. No, 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 no kills for you. No kills. No kills. All right. Wet powder. Which melee you want? Melee. Melee. A melee. Is that the only melee we have? No, we got three of them. Oh, we got that cavalry. Let's do this infantry first. Five to count. It says four. Five to four. Can I the militia? Can the militia hold? Militia. Ah, oh, yeah. Three. Ah, uh, it's up to the dice at this point. No. Yes. Yep. Yes. The militia mocks you. Wait, are they? What? Oh, I can never remember their names when I'm about to make a joke. About the Opolchenya. The Opolchenya. They, they, they well, have the dang. spirit. Well, dang, you could have forgot that. They have Thanks, the spirit of the Opolchenya in them, to be sure. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, they're fine. Just make it. That's oh. fine. No. I was going to say, by definition, they started Oh, there, right, so right, right. Of be... course, yeah. The... yeah. So that's one win for those saucy okay. militia. Um, All right, next meal. That's what happens here. here. Over here, Jim. Nice big table. Where? No. Nice big table. Where? No. Sorry, Ron. Where? Oh, there. Wow. All the way that's down there. Bad, bad. That's a spicy meat the ball. Um, and, and my... my Cat, my Dutch there, they already did one attack, so it should their current Alon should be a six, not a seven. Okay, we'll get we'll get to them. Uh Koenig is a three, and the guns fire at a three. Three to three. Where, it, where are we where are we attacking? Cannons. Oh, the oh that's me. That's me. That's yeah. me. Oh, oh Velker no. He had three dice. Come on, get two of them. Get two. Can he get two? Can he get two? Can he get two? Yes, he can. Yes, yes, he can. Doubles. That's he's doubles, dead. Which means he's dead. What, he just dies? Yep. It says, okay, you went by. All right, and you may advance that base with if you wish. Can we break through? No, there's no breakthrough in Blucher. 
drop some morale one. I basically like Blucher 50% less. You might as well stay there, Jeff. Yeah, yeah I, I was going to say, it allows me to be able to turn. So, uh, yeah. you were you were being a gentleman, Jeff, and you were telling me that somebody suffered in, in combat, so that would be these Dutch here? Yeah, this Dutch all, all the way over there. I'm sorry. I, I was you. thinking, I, I forgot completely about that one. I try to be. All right. So, this yeah. is a whole lot of mess. Um, and unfortunately, Volker rerolls. So we find Clement up here with a current Alon of six plus one seven. We have six plus one seven. Fourteen. To four. Fourteen to four. I'll roll this one, Jeff. Rerolling all. Okay, you gonna roll? Okay. Fourteen to four, Velker, You've done crazier. Two. I don't know if I two. I got two. Oh, he's got them both. Fourteen. I do believe the odds are against him. They are, but he's beaten worse odds. He's dead. I only lost by three. Yeah, did you ever see that battle with Vance? I only lost by three. You only lost by... Are you, no, you lost by worse than that. No. Wait, One, I two, three, four. four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, never mind. Yeah, you're dead. Yeah, but I have infinite health. You do not have infinite and health. I have laser eyes. Will you please put your cheat codes down again? That is not appropriate for the Napoleonic I know, battle. right? Laser eyes. You and your Napoleonic... Shark. No laser eyes. And, uh, That's so awesome. Some of Napoleon's opponents would have thought he was using a cheat sheet. <laughs> He's looking um, for his cheat code. All right, you may advance if you I wish. I D F K A. Does that work? Uh, I'm. I don't think we need to, do we? No. I like my hill. I see everything. All right. Well, that's it. That's going to take us to. Uh, uh, can I get uh, reinforcements? Oh, heaven's oh, sake, yes, you well, you can try. I don't know. Can you? Uh, Should be a three, one, three two, or, or three less. now. Three or less. No. No, I'm six again. Really? You can't. In fact, you can't. <laughs> you might you know not what? need them now. Ron, I was going to say, Ron, it, all that's going to do is crowd, crowd the battlefield. We, we have enough here. It's... True. Well, just and just remember though, and this is this is consequential as to how you decide to play out the balance. First of all, Velker has very much sat just because of the way his dice have fallen. On um, he's got this, he's got a, he's basically got a core over here. Uh huh. That has, that has not budged. Um, my point only being, as I'm taking some photographs, his morale now sits at three. When his morale breaks. His casualties don't get any worse. Right? Nice. Right? Can I leave? Do I get to do I get to leave? Do well, I, if his back his morale breaks, I win the battlefield. You do. You win the battlefield. But the point being, yeah, I mean and and yes, Velker, you can leave the battlefield, but I'm not gonna let you do that without Giorgio here. Without what? Giorgio. Oh, okay. Yeah, these are Georgia's forces. Yeah, these are these are Georgia's forces. Yes. So to answer yeah, the question, answer the you question. could leave. I don't know. I don't know why I would. Because I would actually get it. Because oh, I'll, I'll tell you exactly. Tell you but this is my point. I'll tell you exactly why oh, you would leave. Because you want to hurt him as much as you can. He's going to win. You know that. Mm -hmm. But if you can damage him before he kills your last three guys, mm -hmm. which he's going to get. Those guys go on longer term, so it is a balancing act. Oh yeah, you know it is. Plus, it's an extra victory point for bringing down a mar army's morale. Across, right, across one, I was right. in the thing. Right. Yeah. So. so it's, so it's, uh, it, it's, it's not obvious that you would want to leave right now, because they still. Really, oh yeah, still, you know, not that's, yet. That's, that's that's not obvious. I mean, and you've done some real damage to them, although again, you've not killed anybody. And that's that's really what counts, because just damaging people in the Sharnhor system doesn't really help you that much, not in the long term. What matters here is the uh, victory point locations, which right now, as we know, stand three to three. At least for now. So, uh, this battle turned out to be much more interesting than I actually thought it would be. Um, 
We may always make the Bowser's because last one we didn't think we were going to do yeah. much either, and we no, no. held up pretty good. I, I, I think that uh, that Scharnhorst gives interesting opportunities. Blucher gives interesting opportunities, and a um, lot of unexpected stuff. Remember too, you know, this is we're going to obviously have to go back through a full resort now because we've got to resort your column A, Ron. We've got to go through. I know you have resorted, but Giorgio has not res uh, resorted the Battle of Roar. And when this is over, we'll have to resort again. And there's probably going to be another big battle. But here's the really big piece. Right now, George, the, the Austrians have a significant lead in terms of VP locations. It's a, it's a huge lead. It's, a, it's, it's a, 10 to 2. Okay. If they win this battlefield, win th that shifts to 10 to 8. Also, Giorgio... Wait a minute. Giorgio, Wouldn't be... Depending how I win, because I get the extra one if I destroy the army, so it'll actually be 9 to 10. Yeah, if you take... That's true. It would be 10 to 9. But and we're, we're about to wreck one column here. Doesn't matter. That no, we just got to break down the morale. Doesn't, that doesn't matter. Okay. What The big thing that matters is... Giorgio has Radisbud. He leads on points and he holds Radisbud. If he takes Landshut, the thing that nobody is paying attention to is Landshut. Well, I haven't been able to move these either, so. <laughs> well, I'm not blaming you so much. <laughs> it's because I realize it wasn't you making the maneuvers. Let me save this real quick. Let me uh let me show everybody what I'm talking about before we log out for the night. Yeah, but that battle is not done yet. Which one? The uh, the um. Oh no, there's still the, more maneuvering to do. Yeah, the other but, battle in. But, but here's the thing, right? Here's where everybody is. Let's put his way the heck down here. Oh, that's right. That's that's where I got caught, wasn't it? Yeah. So yeah, where I had that yes, three. we've had this we've had this smaller battle that the Austrians won pretty handily. Here, uh, that that has not yet been decided. Yes, it has. Georgia. No, we through. decided yeah, it. it has. No, yeah, it has. Well, he won it. It wasn't a major victory; it was a minor victory. Really, yeah, he won four to two. the areas. He won four to two. Yeah, the big oh, okay. if at the end of at the day, nightfall, if they back off, they get the nightfall, rest of the field. He withdraws and which keeps, I don't agree yeah, with, but. He, he, oh, okay. I thought we were holding the battlefield. Because because oh, yeah. he attacked. Because he attacked. Right. Uh, okay. So, so he okay, wins so this we're not going to fight that again. He won this battlefield up here by, by you know, just by the trap out. So that was a total of six. So he's got ten. You have two. You're probably going to win this one, and you're correct, Ron. You did. You're, it's likely you're going to break the morale unless Velker manages to withdraw. Um, so, you know, start. Re he can retire his whole army and avoid that if he want. If Giorgio wants to, but again, you know, Giorgio's sitting on Radisbon with an entire column, and that's not going to be a joke. And then nobody. It's been ages since anybody so much took a look down at Landshut. Yeah. So, so you know, it's... Uh, which means... Uh, but on the flip side of it, even though Giorgio holds Radisbon, even though he leads on flags, he cannot get anything better than a marginal victory without Landshut. All right. And even after reformation and everything else like that, there's a possibility of no battle happening up there. Yeah, and, and again, this battle here... The other, the other interesting piece is when you look at this battlefield, which, by the way, is the battlefield we're on right now, um, you know, the, the French column, this French column, as you know, Ron, went this way and wound up on this battlefield. battlefield. So, right. Yeah, so that's what I wanted French, to do. The French can't go this way. They, the Austrians, they can go here and here. I'm just kind of looking to see where people can go. Yeah, those Austrians got to retreat off this way. Well, technically, if they come off if they if they said that night they leave the battlefield, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Shouldn't the next day they start out in one of these other? Correct. That's what. They, that's exactly that's right. They, that's ex right. So then I actually right. can go this way. You you reorganize. No, but it's happening simultaneously. They're moving as you're reorganizing. So as far as you're concerned, they're still as far there. As you're 
No, no, I mean the next day's movement because that night's the reorganization. Yeah, I got, I'm gonna have to take a look and at they, that. That's gonna be in the hundred days they, rules. You, I think you've got to reorganize on the battlefield. I do, yes, but he's leaving the battlefield. Right. I think he's got. I think he's got to reorganize here. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that I know. that's what I'm talking about. That I know. You're right. That's what I'm saying. So I could still go this way. When? Or this way. Because after the next day's movement, because he's going to be gone. Oh, he's going to yeah, be back yeah, yeah. here. I get, I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get, I get, yeah, sure. Yeah, but again, And then it's... if I win here, depending on where he organizes here, if he has to retreat, he's got to back up into these areas. Yeah, that's an interesting question to which I don't know the ready answer. And, I, you know, it's funny. You think I would remember these things, but I don't. But I that's look, logical, right? I got to look up at the night. Camp. They move off the battlefield. Yeah, so we're on the twenty-second. Note. This right. has this has five more days to go. So. Yeah, so it's still plenty more battles to go. Yeah, there's... it all depends on how much the armies come back from their, like, casualties. Yeah, I'm super curious about. Well, I guess we'll see because you can't. That's I mean, why you can't defend. That's the why wrecking that one column. Right. I, yeah, he's got I, that one column. Yeah, it comes back be, under strength, right? Yeah, which means yeah. It, it, it's going to be easier to beat the next time. Sure. Sure. No, it's incredible. Right. Sure. No, no doubt. No doubt. Well, very cool. That's what we got to do with lo lower casualties than they do. Right. Yeah. Right, but it's a very interesting approach that Sam takes. It's much more the attritional warfare of the Napoleonic period, which sounds right to me. Ta-da. So. No, so. And, and you know what? I enjoy this. The China horse and the, the interesting battles that we come up with. I like this. Mm -hmm. Historical campaign, but not necessarily historical battle. Right. But it yeah. all intermixes. You know but what it, I mean? But it does give you an appreciation of why they fought where they did. Yes. You know. It gives or you, it gives you not a sending your scouts up here. Yeah. Of well, and it's I'm still not sure that George or Doug initially did a great job with their scouts. Because the purpose of the scout, the reason that you get those recon columns, is so that you can peek at one of these columns and find out how many guys are in it. Right. That's what that's what our French column or our French um that it got caught up here, but it, it did find out what was in it. Right, right. So yeah, the hard way we will. Yeah. Hey, Hey, I got off the board with all units. That's right. Oh, you did. Right. You did. Yeah. There was, there was those units. And gonna, I did damage to them. They're going to come back. Well, nobody took any damage in that battle. So, um, the, uh, cause the, everybody comes back at full strength the next day, unless you kill somebody. Okay. So, but, uh, but there it is. So no, this is, this is very, very interesting. And like I say, I was excited to have it be a good battle. I think I took enough pictures, so I think I got enough to pose. So let's talk about it. Uh, on Saturday, next Saturday, this coming, we'll be back to Eilau for part four. We'll see what happens there. Velker's got his Marat cavalry ready to roll, and I know that this one, that battle is close. Oh, that battle is so close. Um, both um, armies are getting, uh, one of the things I like about Volley and Bayonet, both those armies are getting really, really brittle. Holy cow. Yes. Holy yeah. Yeah. You know, they're not, there's, there, that could go either way. Um, next Wednesday, we're going to be, I got to take a break. I've got to run a game for connections. I'm, I'm on a panel for connections, uh, talking about, oddly enough, playing games on Tabletop Simulator, particularly the uh, 1807 Kriegspiel that we're running. So I'll be talking about that. And the Saturday Night Fights is going to be a game of Men Against Fire. Uh, Patty Griffith's uh, fascinating Sandhurst war game, a little bit of role-playing game and a little bit of war game. I've run two sessions already. I'm going to be building an Eastern Front scenario, so check that out. And uh, Vance and CT Command Tent are definitely going to be planning their, their next round in our Storming the Citadel Chain of Command campaign, where, as James, yeah, An where, as James Anderson pointed out, um, there was a whole lot of casualties on both sides, so it's going to be interested, just interesting to see how they manage their reorganization. I got to watch the second half of that battle. Yeah, so it's a lot of lot of dead guys um, and a lot of casualties, so it'll be quite a thing to see. Whew, 
Well, that's a lot of gaming, and that's what it's all about. And I hope you enjoyed tonight's gaming. I thank everybody who played. Uh, thank everybody who joined us. And we will see you, I would say, Saturday next. In the meanwhile, take care.